We need to stop thinking that the world that we live in is the way it is. You can do anything you want to and create your own life. But sometimes that takes courage because it's not easy to step out on a limb and do something that, you know, maybe you didn't pay to do or that your parents told you, oh, well, you have to do this. Well, if that doesn't make you happy, why are we doing that? Okay, no wonder we're so full of sadness and, you know, mental problems is because we're being forced to do something that really doesn't resonate with us anymore. Or ever. All right, so get our ball. We're going to have a ball today. Yay! Hop on the middle of your mat for me. If you missed Monday, we got to go outside and put our feet in the grass, and it was so awesome. Let's wait for some of these allergies to kind of calm down a little bit, okay? And maybe we can go out there towards uh, the end of the semester if you guys are interested in doing that, okay? All right, so we're going to bring our hands up, and we'll turn up the music just a little bit. All right, so this is one of my favorite artists. His name is Ben Bomer, and it may have been a little distracting to see him play this set in a hot air balloon. Lean back for me, please, and come down for me. And inhale up, and come back. Good job, Darius. Lean back as far as you can. Lean back, and we're gonna try to go with the beat of the music. Lean back. Feet apart, swing the arms around. Here we go, over around. Try to get your breath with it. Inhale, exhale. However you feel to do this. You have one more, then we're going to switch directions. Feet back together, bringing them back. Bring back. Bring forward, bring back. the other direction, go around. Something that I need to work on is breath. All right, feet back together, bringing them back. Inhale, exhale. One more. from each 
each other. Try to go under. If you need to go under a little bit, that's okay. Good job. All right, switch speed for me, please. All right, and our warrior one, our heel is down for me, please. Bring your hand back. And bring them up and over. And one more time. And we come down to bowl. And we lift them up. And we bowl down. And lift them up. Squeeze your glutes in the back. Widen that stance a little bit more if you need to. Your heels should be up in a low lunge. Heel up. Heel up in the back. Good job. So we have changed that to a warrior one position. To a low lunge position. Good job. One more time. All right, folks. Bring that ball underneath. Bring it up down. We have four of these. Then we're going to take it to the other direction. Keep your chest up. Squeeze those glutes. I know this class is a little bit more active than normal, but you can do it. All right, switch directions. Here we go. Bring it down. Chest up. Good. Stretch through that hip flexor on the back leg. Keep your chest up. Two more. One more, my friends. One more. Please don't hold your breath. Good job. Bring that foot in for me, please. All right. Bring that ball around. And come back around. Here we go. Bring it around. One more, folks. 
Inhale, you got it. Come on, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, reverse. Hold it here. Inhale. Exhale. If you're off with me, who cares? You do you, boo boo. Inhale, exhale. You got off beat, it's okay. The point is you are trying. And this is your last one. All right, shaking out those legs for just a little bit. Right foot forward for me, your left foot is back. All right, we are going to be in our second warrior position for me, so bring in your hands here. I need you to make sure that your hip is facing forward for me, okay? So put your hands on either part of your hip. If you feel that your hip is going back, bring that foot in just a little bit to make sure that your hips are squared for me, all right? All right, and then we're gonna bring that hand here. We are keeping our hips stationary. We're not moving. We're only moving our eyes. See how far we can go. Bring that ball back and follow that ball. Bring that hand forward. Open up. Follow and come back. All right, I want you to follow that ball every time. Follow the ball. Look at the ball in front of you. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. Grab it with the back hand. Look back at that ball. Bring that ball to the front of you. Look at that ball. You never let your eyes off the ball. And we come back as far as we can. Grab it with the other hand. Come back. Look at the ball. Bring the ball forward. All right, so everybody has that ball forward. We're going to get some breath into it. Big inhale. Exhale. Close. Grab. Ex inhale. Exhale. Go forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Inhale. Open. Exhale. Grab the ball. Open up, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, open, exhale, close, inhale, open, good job, bring that hand down to the floor for me, please, look up, and we are going to bring that hand back for me, please, we look up towards that ball, and switch in the center, look up towards the ceiling if you can, straighten out the front knee if you want, or keep it bent, cross in the center, expand, inhale, look at the ball, and inhale, look up, exhale, switch, inhale, Alright, so 
So remember, big inhale, our eyes follow the ball always. Exhale, go as far as you can. Inhale, grab that ball, look back. Exhale, bring the ball forward all the way. And inhale as you still look at that ball. Inhale, here we go. Inhale, inhale. Exhale. 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 One more time. Inhale. Alright, so your low back is 
here. You can either keep it up here if you choose, if that feels more comfortable. All right. If you are doing this at home, you can um, use a little ball if you have one, or you can um, try to roll up a uh, a yoga mat or a um, uh, what's I going to say a ball, an a ball, a what is it? A towel. Mercury and retrograde. I'm already feeling that the lack of communication. All right, folks. Um, if this is too much for you, just do what you can, okay? All right, folks. So I want us to lay here, and I want us to feel how that feels on our low back, okay? Now, if this doesn't feel good to you, and you're like, you know what? I think that I would receive this better if it was a little lower and my hips were up a little bit higher, all right? And maybe you can kind of rock back and forth on that ball. If you feel like you want to do this and it's up a little higher on your back, that's fine too. All right, wherever you want. So it can be at your low back or it can be a little closer to your hips. All right. And you can kind of rock and lean back. And because what I'm doing is I'm just kind of massaging my back back and forth as I go closer to my glutes all the way from my low back. So you just try to find a spot that feels good for you. All right. This is kind of like a good intro to doing that bridge move, right? All right, so we have the, the ball there for me. I want us to kind of lift up, and if you need to um, move that ball into a better place, please do so. And then we come back down. So this is our bridge move, and that feels a whole lot nicer coming back on top of that um, ball. Reach up for me in that bridge position. And come back down. And we inhale right here. Exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press down. Inhale, look up. Raise up, exhale, come down. But now as you go down, I want you to push your low back into that ball. So as you do that, you can kind of feel your abs crunching in together as they scoop in, all right? That's how we should feel. And we inhale, bring them up. Exhale, push that ball down with your spine. Now as you push down, your hips kind of rock back. All right, so as you're staying there, I want you to kind of watch what this Smith is doing, okay? So as we come up, inhale, and as we go down, watch my hips. If this ball was here, I kind of scoop under. I don't just go down like that, okay? All right, so we come up, inhale, exhale, scoop the hips under, and inhale up, exhale, scoop the hips under, squeeze those, those abs, inhale, Under. One more time. Inhale. And then we scoop the hips under. All right, folks. I want us to try to balance for me, please, here. We're going to bring one foot up. And if you can, bring the other foot up. If it's too much, just stay where you are. Okay? All right. I want you to bring one leg out and hold. Come back to center. I like to hold on to the side of my mat a little bit and bring the other leg out. Control, balance, nice long legs, point the toe, come back in. All right, folks, I want you to inhale as you bring that leg out. Inhale, remember our body is long. More room for expansion in the lungs. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Exhale, bring them in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 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 Inhale.
are going to open up. Now, if you need to feel a little pop in that back, try to push on that back. Straighten out that leg on the floor. Again, we're got that plus symbol on the floor. We are all about the positive energy. All right, we know the drill. We're going to make that big sun over our head. We're going to find out what our ascending sign is, and we're going to close the gap between and inhale and open up. Exhale. Yesterday, 411 is supposed to be the luckiest day of the year. So, been a good day to get a lottery ticket, if that's your thing. And up, and bring our knee in. We get so kind of a program thinking that, oh, luck means money. Well, it can be, but luck can mean a new friend. Luck can mean, oh, I got out of that speed. Ticket. Luck can mean, oh, I got every light and was on time for school today. All right, bringing the knees into the chest for me, please. And we got that ball in between our knees. And I want us to rock back and forth. And then we are going to complete that sequence on the other side. Appreciate you guys doing something different with me today, allowing me to be in my creativity a little bit. once you learn how to do some different modalities to heal yourself and change your mindset, it's important to share that information with others so they can do the same. All right, folks, we have that left hand up in the air with that ball. We have our left knee bent. We have our right leg extended. We're going to take our right hand over our left knee. Make that big plus symbol on the floor. We are opening ourselves to receiving all the energy from the sun and Aries. Straighten out that leg for me, please. Big inhale for me as we inhale with a plus symbol and we exhale, sun over us. Inhale, open up. Exhale and close. Inhale, open up. Exhale. One more time. Exhale. Bringing the knees into your chest for me, please. Take that ball in between those knees for me. And we're going to rock from side to side. Try to put your hands out. Try to go as far as you can with those legs. And if your shoulders come up a little bit, just be aware of that. But try not to let them come up. Try to push your shoulder blades down to the floor as you rock back and forth. It's easy to let those shoulders come up because a lot of people's front part of the shoulder is stronger than the back. And if we think about how we drive and sit in the car and punch over our text, our body is more used to being crunched over. So we need to make sure we open that up. Otherwise, we're just preparing ourselves for the walker. All right, we don't want to do that. We have too much life to live. All right, we're going to bring the ball to our feet. If this is too much for you today, please do this here, okay? But try to challenge yourself. Keep your legs up for me, and we're going to make little circles, little circles. Try to think about doing this from this area here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And switch directions if you can. It's more of an ab exercise than a stretch. If you're feeling it in your hip flexors, move the ball to your knees. All right, bring that ball back to here for me. Woo! To the side. One more. All right, let's finish with our pigeon pose. We have about one more minute. You just a little bit longer today. I do apologize, but I was having fun. Hope you were. All right, so if you um, are able to keep that leg back, please do so. You can also take the
this ball and kind of stick it underneath and rest on it a little bit, all right? Or you can take that ball and just kind of relax down. Either one is fine. I like these little props. Now, I know that this is a specific ball designed for um, the Silver Sneaker Program, but you can find one of these squeezy balls online. One is called the Bender Ball, B E N D, as a dog, E R Bender. Bending. Okay, and it's green. And you can find those online, or, you know, sometimes you might be able to find something like this at Walmart or the Dollar Store, okay? It may not be this type of circumference, and it may be a little bit harder with the plastic that it's designed with, but it still kind of fits the same purpose. When you're ready, I want us to switch to the other side. Again, if you want to take that ball and kind of sit on it there, you know, so ah, that is a relief that I needed right there. Just a little bit of relief, all right? Or you can be right here and lean down.